Welcome back from the 70,000 fans in the stands to the tens of millions tuned in on TV. The AFC Championship game between the Ravens and the Chiefs will likely be the most watched game ever played here in Baltimore. Yes, and everything has to look great, including the field. Sports director Mark Viviano goes behind the scenes to see how the turf is holding up in some tough conditions. We're going grassroots on this one. <laughs> Players, coaches, fans all feel the nervousness that comes with a championship game. And that feeling reaches the team that puts in the long hours to prepare the field of play. What looks like a football field to most of us is an ongoing science project to the turf pros at M&T Bank Stadium. We first spoke with head groundskeeper Sean Kaufman before the season opener in the summer heat of September. Since then, the playing surface has been ripped out twice and replanted with a fresh field of Bermuda grass trucked in from North Carolina. From summer to winter, through scorching heat, freezing temps, and most recently rain, lots of rain. The field side fans work like giant hair dryers in hopes the newest grass gets its best chance to stand strong for the AFC title game. You just don't know how the grass is going to react to the conditions, uh, to the players, to the traffic. And so, you know, every situation is going to be a little bit different. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, not only our crew, but the crew down in in North Carolina that grows the side and installs the side. You know, they're very well versed on, on, on what to do and how to do it and how to make it as good as we can possibly make it. Ravens kicker Justin Tucker depends on a reliable surface from which to launch his kicks. He gives the grounds crew at his home stadium high marks for in season adjustments to changing weather. Anytime you have that to deal with and the surface still holds up, throughout the course of a game. It's not going to be perfect, but it's manageable. Um, and it's much more manageable than a lot of other places that we have played. The kicker is a stickler. And Tucker says the sod squad in Baltimore gets it right, where others around the league often get it wrong. For whatever reason, they just can't figure it out. Our guys have certainly done that, and uh, they, they have figured it out, and they've done a, a, a great job with the surface. Um, and. Uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to getting back out there and testing it out again in pregame and hopefully having a great game on it again. I'm mostly just concerned about the athletes and making sure that they have the best surface that we can provide them for the game. You know, um, we want to make sure that they can do what they need to do in order to perform at the highest level. And, and that's all that my concern is. I'm not concerned about, you know, if the field starts to look beat up or, or a little worn by the end of the game. As long as the players can do what they need to do and stay healthy, that's my biggest concern. Now, Kaufman tells me that today's warm sunshine was a welcome respite for the stadium grass, but game day rain is ahead. The crew is going to cover up the field with tarps up to 90 minutes before kickoff, and the NFL sends in league officials to monitor field conditions and work with Sean and his crew. A victory? They don't have to worry about home games. They'll go to Vegas. Yes. <laughs> then they get ready for next season. Yes. They did a great